Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Living Shadow to Row. Hello, assassins. How you doing? 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 I really hope you're doing the well, amazing, best you ever felt in your life. Really, though, feel the best you ever felt in your life. Oh, you guys. So, this is going to be a cusp reading for Taurus and Gemini. If this instance would like, maybe I need to get a new lighter. This is what I get for using the regular lighter and not my own fancy one. Okay, see, it's not the fancy one. You guys. Taurus, Gemini, cusp. Now, um... If you are on this cusp, that would mean you were born February, uh, excuse me, eh, not February, why did I say February? May, <laughs> May 19th to the 24th. So, now of course, um, because I am pulling off both of these energies, even if you are not um, a cusp of sun sign of Taurus and Gemini cusp sun sign, there is a possibility that something in this reading could resonate with you. Yeah, for the Taurus or Gemini energy. So, you know, watch it. See if it does. If it does, great. If it doesn't, let it go. Mm -hmm. If you do not know your own birth chart, please click the link in the description box below for astralcharts.com. Or you can go and find out your birth chart and find out if you, you know, where these energies may be placing way. in your chart. See, just that easy. Even freaking Siri can do it on the watch. If Siri can do it on the watch, I know y'all can do it. Because Siri don't be doing a lot of stuff right. I'm just telling you. So, Taurus, Gemini, Cuss. The first card we got out was Temperance. Ooh, what is this about? Give me more, give me more, give me more. Mm -hmm. Magician and Ten of Cups. Taurus, Gemini, Energy. So, you are healing. You're manifesting happiness. I feel like you're really trying to... Turn water into wine, in, uh, in, a, in a sense. Yeah. We have uh, the fool here. You got... Uh, it's like... You just want to start over. You want to start fresh. I feel like you, you, you're having that fresh moment. Yeah. We have the strength card here. There's definitely some strength involved. I feel like you have some strength to, like, tame something, though. What are we taming? Is there a taming, or is there something else? Ooh. Four of Wands and Three of Pentacles. I think you're trying to stop yourself from working with certain things or working with certain people. What is this? Because it seems happy. Okay, we got a whole bunch of... I'm going to take this whole stack. Hold on. Can I get a shorter uh, 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 version of this message, please? We got the sun. Yeah. I feel, this is the thing. Okay, so you're working on yourself. What's the sun here? Three of Pentacles and the Sun. You're working on yourself. I feel like you're getting the strength to go to this Four of Wands energy. You know, with this Four of Wands energy, a lot of people, it's like it can be a marriage, right? It can be. But I, in the, what I'm getting with this, and you could be getting married. Don't get me wrong. This could be a marriage that's happening or whatever. You could be, you know, on cloud nine over here, as they say, getting married and living your best life. What I was going to say was that this four of wands is also like bliss and happiness. It's like you're getting the strength to just make yourself happy, whatever that may be, or whatever that like whatever that may be for you. I feel like you're you're getting that strength to just make yourself happy. Especially with the sun card here. That's the happiest card. Like, we have not not, not a single negative card yet. So, I don't know, uh, Taurus, Gemini, energy, what you got going on, but whatever. We got Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Six of Swords. Okay. So, this Knight of Wands is a conquering knight energy. Fiery energy. It's also, like... I mean, unless you count, like, the baby on the sun, the youngest, um, energy that's out here so far. 
Um, we also have the Seven of Swords, the Three of Pen excuse me, Three of Cups and Four of Pentacles. So someone is whether this is you or someone else in your energy is is like deceptively celebrating something that they're still holding on to. So what does this mean? It's like, okay, so you know how I said there's a strength to like there's this you were getting the strength to get up and go towards happiness. Or someone had the strength or was getting the strength, whatever the whatever it was. Okay, right. This Knight of Wands. This could be like an ego thing. Like you could think you've already won, but yet you then you come to find out you're still holding on to something. Or, like I said, you're turning the water into wine. Maybe you see this coming and you're celebrating or... Yeah, I do I, I do feel a little bit of that. Like, a little bit of celebrating, knowing this is coming, but knowing that you're... Like, it won't be long. Like, this Four of Pentacles. It's kind of like I won't be long. Like, it won't be long now until this is over with. I just gotta do, like... Like, I just gotta do this one thing or I just gotta, like, pay this one bill or something. It's one of those. We got Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. So, yeah, this is definitely, like, I feel like this is going to be money conversations. Is that, I, now, whether that is with, um, like, a mothery figure, a Queen of Pentacles person, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is in your life, whatever. Could be an Earth sign. This could be your Taurus energy. We can have, like, your Gemini energy up here. Trying to be in bliss, and the Taurian, uh, the Taurian energy stubbornly like hanging on to something. I wouldn't even say that, but like maybe like a little bit deceiving. Like if it feels like someone. Okay, so let me just tell you what it feels like. It feels like with this energy. There's someone who's just like trying to manifest a brand new life, right? Nothing wrong with that. But then we got the Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Three of Cups. It's like so the other side, the other part of them. It's like feels like it can't happen or some maybe maybe that's weird so maybe you feel like you need to have the the funds or something to get a new life and you you don't want to have a conversation about that give me some more for this queen of pentacles please queen of pentacles please can we clarify this queen of pentacles six of swords ten of swords something is over yeah so like i said if you were uh, 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 well if you went to this person for money, like if you had to have a, a conversation with this person for money, that's over. Like just they're cutting out the middleman, basically. No middleman. If you do feel um you know, something a little bit different, that's why. Cutting out the middleman. Mm-hmm. That's eight of cups. Mm-hmm. Gone. What is the time here for this one? This one seems pretty cut and dry. What is this? Sorry, y'all. Eight minutes? Wow. Um, so I normally don't even do this this early, but I'm going to go to the extended. Um, I do want to uh, ask you all to please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, especially if you're new. I want to say hi to you. Okay. Also, um, and you're clicking the link in the description to go to the extended. You should check out my store. I have a store. Hold on. There's an awakening bath box in case you need to get a spiritual bath, okay? Spiritual awakening. Get it? Awakening bath box. Spiritual awakening. We got uh, a manifestation book up here. There is card decks, candles, crystals, all these different things. So do check the link in the description box below for my site. Also, if you want to get a personal, you can um, book that. Um, links in the description below to book that. And um, if you want to see my podcast, The Shadowcast, you can go do that as well. There's audio and a video version. Well, the video's for the later episodes. The audio's for the earlier episodes. 
uh, all your only for the earlier episodes. So do check out Fat and yeah, see you in the extended. We're gonna find out in this extended what exactly you're manifesting and what would help this go along quicker so we can get rid of this stubborn energy. So yeah, be blessed out there. Assassination. <laughs>